so off to my house and we got ready, or I got ready. Now I'm off to work to work Lux Box. And next weekend, I don't work Lux Box, so that's good. And next weekend is Matt's 22nd birthday. He's getting old. How's that feel to be old? It's not old. Huh? It's not old. That just means maybe I won't get ID as much. He almost didn't get ID'd last night when we went. I just taped you. Yeah, that was Sorry. Um, it was <laughs> last night, he let, like it's just a habit to reach for your ID, and the lady was walking away. She's like, "Oh yeah, can I look at your ID?" And he was like, "Damn it!" But yeah, off to work, and then off to school. So fun. Hey guys, so does anyone know how to say Avengers? Avengers? The Avengers? The Avengers? Sold out all day. All day. All day. Lines up the whatever. Ridiculous lines. So now I'm out of work and stress is gone. Going back to school, have to do some papers. Matt's wearing some 3D glasses from the theater. Those are the whole glasses. <laughs> now on to go pack. Say so guys, we saw these these things in um, Walgreens. They're called Neuro, and then this one's a Neuro trim. It says that it helps weight, healthy weight loss, better digestive health, promotes healthy aging, helps curb appetite, and it's caffeine free. So then I got Neuro Bliss, which helps reduce stress, enhances mood, supports memory, and promotes a positive outlook. We're gonna try them out. Let's see. All you did was unscrew. Oh, okay. Let me see the cover, that's oh cool. Oh my god. Let me see the cover. It's like a bottle cap, but I think over it. What does it smell like? It's like <laughs> grape and pomegranate together, but doesn't smell very good. Take a sip. What does it taste like? You want... It's disgusting. It tastes like tea. I don't like it. Tastes like candy. I didn't say candy. Wow. This is really cool. You like screw it off because it's like a normal bottle cap, but and then like you hear it like fizz. And it's like a lightly carbonated. Mine is. Mine smells like Sprite. It's like a bad Sierra Mist. After. At first it feels like Sierra Mist and then it's a bad after that taste. Ugh. And it doesn't taste lightly carbonated, it tastes really carbonated. <laughs> Did that taste really carbonated to you? That was wicked carbonated. And it says lightly carbonated. Yeah, that, that, that tasted more carbonated than ginger ale. It definitely has a funky aftertaste. Yeah. I won't be buying these again. Euro drinks! Happiness in every bottle. And a sour taste in your mouth. <laughs> so you guys, we're in Fitchburg, and um, we decided to grab Taco Bell, it is amazing, and we parked in this little parking lot of, I don't even know what place it is, but right across from us, I don't know if you guys remember, my aunt's name is Carol, and we're in front of this ice cream place, and it says her name, and it says Carol's Extra Long Dogs. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back up at school. Um, my mom and my sister and me packed so much stuff of mine. Literally three jumbo, like huge jumbo heavy duty stretchable trash bags full of just clothes and towels and pajamas and stuff. That's insane. And my room is like bare. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Like my closet has like just a couple clothes and jeans and stuff. It's insane how much stuff is gone. So when I move out, it won't be as bad. Um, I do have some big, like, what are they called? Like storage bins and stuff underneath my bed, but they're mostly empty. So I'm gonna like put like random stuff in it for now so that when I do move out, it won't be like big bulky things because it won't fit my mom's car. Literally, the whole trunk 
and the whole back seat was filled. So it was pretty insane. And they brought, um, what's it called? A doy, um, the thing that has two wheels and you can carry boxes and stuff on. Um, I don't know what it's called, but they had that and they had to use that. And Matt gave us um, boxes to put the stuff in too, so it was nuts. So much stuff gone. My room looks so bare. That's a good thing. Um, today when I worked, the Avengers was sold out ridiculously, like ridiculous amounts. Like, I got it at 11 and the 10.50 was already sold out. We opened at like 10.30. Everyone had like bought their tickets online for the first showing and it was sold out by the time we opened. So, well, I guess we opened at 10, or no, I think we opened at 10.30. So the 10.50 was sold out and when I got to my register, the 11.25 was already almost completely sold out. The Lux level was sold out for like pretty much the whole night. It was insane. And if you see the Avengers in IMAX, you get to pick your seats. And like when there was like slowly going to the end of the movie, like before it was getting played, I just like put up on the screen the IMAX seating thing and it'll turn red when people buy them. And it was like watching Minesweeper. Because <laughs> it was just like boom, 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 boom. People, so many, buy it, so many people buying it. It was insane. It was so fun to watch. <laughs> And I guess that was the best that the theater has done, like with a show or a movie, since The Dark Knight came out. So Avengers is definitely going up there in the box office because if my theater is doing that, I'm pretty sure all the other theaters are selling out too. So we have 16 theaters in my movie theater and five of them were dedicated to the movie. And each one, like that wasn't almost, that was almost like not enough theaters for the movies so there's a car driving um yeah it was insane and I'm like I was really happy that I could experience it and the car's gone there it goes or it parked no there it is but yeah so today was definitely and this weekend was definitely like wow and usually I am bored at Luxbox, but I was definitely selling a lot more tickets. And now that I know all the passes and stuff from getting trained, I can do a lot more transactions. So it was definitely, like, really busy. And even for the front of the building, because parking, like, every single time I was about to leave. Like, I work Saturday and Sunday, 11 to 5, and by 5 o'clock they were closing off the parking lot and making people park across the street because there's no more parking. So that's nuts. Um, so yeah, it's pretty insane to watch and see firsthand. Cause like when you go to a movie, you're like, oh yeah, it's pretty crowded. But like after working there and seeing it like decently busy to holy crap, there's like the rope lining, like it's like a pole and the rope and a pole and then a rope to like keep people in line and stuff. We had three long like zigzag of it and it was still overflowing past that. Like, each theater holds almost 400 people. So, you can imagine the intensity of how many people were in the building, on the main floor, on the second floor, on the third floor down, everywhere. It was a madhouse. And, like, the walkie-talkies that we have, it was, like, barely any, ever, any silence. Like, everyone was always running somewhere and doing something, and it was, it was nuts. Definitely experienced that. was, like overwhelming almost like it was almost to the point of oh my god but it wasn't because like we're trained to like handle it but yeah it's pretty busy so it's insane times like that make me enjoy working there and um so yeah that's what i did today dealt with the avengers there's so many people that like wear those silly masks of them and um they counted me out a little bit early so a half early, half hour early so i got to watch like 20 minutes of sitting in house watching the avengers and it's definitely a cool movie so you saw the glasses that matt was wearing those ones i watched those ones they give out for lux customers only because you pay so much more like $25 a ticket to sit in a theater that you're in comfy leather chairs that are almost like sofas and have a button for a waitress to cater to your every need. The bills complete the restaurant of whatever you buy and alcoholic drinks that you get are completely separate, but you're paying for 
not general admission. You get to pick your seat like way beforehand. There's no rush to get there. Like it's a designated seat. It's a comfier seat. It's a lot spacious. It's your own like floor, like everything. So it's definitely worth the expense for someone who really wanted to see the Avengers and I've only heard good things. I haven't heard one bad review about it yet. So I think that's saying a lot. And from what I saw, Knowing that it has been sold out, I like wanted the urge to watch it, but then after watching the little bit of it, I'm like, holy crap, this is a good movie, I want to see it. Like, it's action, and like, drama, and everything. And even like, the old guy, well he's not really that old, but the guy who plays the Hulk in like, the TV series or whatever, he was there. So, I think he's the one that plays the Hulk in it. So that was really cool. And um, yeah, so. I'm exhausted. I need to go to bed. Um, I have class tomorrow. I'm going to work on, um, because tomorrow's Monday. Tuesday I have to write a five, for my 9.30, I have to write a five page creative nonfiction story. So something that happened in my life that's real. So I think I may just write about the movie theater and the crowdation or I was also thinking maybe Models when I worked there and did the Bruins game. Like after they won the Stanley Cup champion, then I worked 12 hours that time that they won and how crazy busy it was in the store. Because I don't think a lot of people could say that they experienced that. Maybe they experienced like the crowd or being at the game or watching the game. But no one's ever, not a lot of people would be able to experience like working, selling the merchandise and not even being able to put the shirt down before someone takes it off your hand. Like opening it out of the box and people saying, do you have a size this, do you have a size that? And you don't even get a chance to fold it. And at one point we just like kept them all open, like the shirts like this, and just put them on the table and they were like just like gone within like five minutes. It was absolutely crazy. So I think I'm gonna write about that or the movie theater, I'm not quite sure yet, but you guys will find out. What do you guys think I should write about? Maybe your guess will be what I actually wrote about. <laughs> so, I don't know. Stressful kind of day. I'm exhausted, so I'm off to bed. Bye!